It's not something that you get to jump something on. It's not a big truck. It's it, a series of tubes. The internet is so complicated. If you missed the recent mini blitz of publicity surrounding Beats Music, don't worry. There's a marketing tidal wave coming. So, here's what you need to know. The new music streaming service from Dr. Dre and music mogul Jimmy Iovine launches January 21st. And you might be asking yourself right about now, does the world need another online music service? This one isn't even all that different from products like Spotify or Pandora, with one exception. Beats Music wants to put humans back in charge of curation. They'll still use algorithms for some features, but they've created an editorial team of music experts to curate playlists. And partners like Rolling Stone and Pitchfork will throw in their own picks. According to Ivy, what song comes next is as important as what song's playing now. Customers will also get personalized recommendations based on where they are and what they're doing, making context another important element of the offering. But Beats Music has a tough road ahead. Not only is it going up against established services, it's got to convince people to start paying for streaming music. A sales pitch even the big players haven't figured out yet. And unlike the others, there's no free version here. However, it's got one trick up its sleeve already. A partnership with AT&T to bundle a discounted family plan that would stream music on 10 devices and up to five lines. Digital music sales are already feeling the pinch from online streaming, and there is no question it will play a huge part in the future of music. But for the model to succeed in the long term, someone's got to prove they can make some money for both the company and the artists. The concept driving beats, context, makes perfect sense on paper since that's where the next wave of digital consumption is headed. But whether people are ready to pay for it or not, well, that's going to depend on how strongly Dr. Dre and Jimmy Ivan make their case. That's it for this week's brief. Until next week, keep your content fresh.